Today, I'm talking to Professor Bill Phillips in Seattle. You need to understand that we have two crises going on in Seattle and across America. We have the pandemic of COVID and the epidemic of racism and police brutality, and both of them are on the TV and in our streets every day. Uh, we started especially as healthcare providers dealing and focusing on the, the pandemic and the unpreparedness, the, the poor capacity of our healthcare system to deal with such a health problem. And now, just when that seems to be at least plateauing, we're, um, we're falling undone to uh, this other epidemic or pandemic of uh, social unrest, a final awakening of people against uh, the tragedy of America's original sin. Where does the medical community stand on this? Well, I can say that by here in Seattle, last Thursday, there was a peaceful demonstration downtown during working hours with 7,000 doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers showing up to protest. It was white coats for black lives. So, you know, one of the effects of being a caring professional, particularly being a family doctor where you're involved in your community and the lives of people, is uh, no matter your own back background, uh, socioeconomic or racial background, you're in some contact with the lives of a big variety of people. So these problems uh, with systemic racism and with specifically police brutality, they're not new, but they've come to light in a new way to more people. Um, the, the veil has been pulled back and there really does feel like a transformation of uh, of awareness and political will to uh, do something different this time about this long-standing problem. What is the ethnicity of the American medical community? Like America in general, it's predominantly white with a growing number of uh, people of color. It has been predominantly male, although across the country, our upcoming medical students are about 50% female. Almost half of the new doctors that come in are not American trained. They come from other countries and they're more largely not white uh, Europeans. They're most likely to be Asians, either from South Asia or East Asia, and they can be distributed all across the country. You would find them even more in, in communities that need new doctors. And those would be rural communities, poor communities spread across the United States. What are your thoughts on cultural competency in the medical profession, how we deal with patients? Well, again, back to that notion that we're family doctors and we deal with all patients of all kinds. They come to us because we're the doctor for their community or eventually we're the doctor for them and their family. So it's a person to person, family to family connection. And it's our business, uh, as I see it and as we train people, to, um, to understand folks. Cultural competency is a set of skills that one can, um, can undertake to learn, to constantly learn, to take care of the greater and greater variety of patients we have. And of course, the best teacher of that is uh, working with the folks themselves. Today, I've been talking to Professor Bill Phillips in Seattle. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you, Don.